Okay, so we'll be taking a look at the Intel Xeon X3430 today in Cinebench R15. Okay, so it's interesting to see that that X3430 uh, Intel CPU was almost as uh, fast as the Phenom 2 X4840. I'll get there in a minute, I'll remember it. Um, in this machine here by the side of me. Now, obviously, the uh, Intel chip was a little bit faster than this Phenom but they are almost as fast now the intel chip obviously is clocked a lot lower so it's got a much higher ipc we already knew that anyway uh, the phenom is clocked at 3.2 gigahertz whereas the intel still being faster than the phenom is only clocked at 2.4 that's because it does more per clock um, so but, you know those chips theoretically this phenom can be overclocked to around about 3.7 but it didn't work. This board has the capability, but that didn't work. It didn't work out. That uh, tends to be the still a problem with the board. Uh, so I wasn't able to do that here with this board. But um, on the P55 chipset, the um, Xeon is overclockable. You know, to up to around four gigahertz, maybe more, depending on your uh, particular chip that you get the look of the draw there. And in the rigs that they're in, it's a Q chipset that it's in at the minute, the Xeon, so it's not a super micro board, so it's not overclockable. So those instances make no, um, you know, you, you can judge the the architectures and things like that on that. But in, in CPU for CPU, regardless of the difference in clock speed, you know, they're almost uh, power identical. And in in the day when they came out, the Phenom was actually obviously a little bit cheaper. So you probably actually got a, a, a fairly decent chip there, or I did uh, for its uh, for its money. It makes me wonder how uh, well it would be, you know, in mid middle ground gaming, which that Xeon was doing. It's almost identical. Um, so you can't really chip for chip for complete output power. You know, they're almost uh, the same. So you know, in that scenario, you're not going to be able to overclock either one. So it wouldn't matter if you picked up the Phenom for that particular use. So uh, it's also interesting to note that the uh, i7s with the 4 core 8 thread were almost twice as uh, twice as fast as the 4 core 4 thread i5s and Xeons like this of that um, architecture and generation. So obviously if you overclock the uh, the i7 a little bit more than it definitely would be and it probably surpassed that. Um, so the Hyper 3 actually did have a major kick for that generation.